In today's video, we're talking about the real cost of your skincare. Hi, I'm Leslie. Welcome to my channel. There are so many choices out there to build an absolutely amazing anti-aging skincare routine at every budget. For anti-aging, there are certain ingredients that really are the standards for protecting your skin, reversing damage, diminishing lines and wrinkles, improving elasticity. But with so many choices and so much hype, oftentimes many of us may go for a new product before really thinking it through just because everyone's raving about it. Most products in your anti-aging lineup are not going to work overnight to really change your skin, even the amazing ones. Hydrators like hyaluronic acids or moisturizers are going to work quickly, but the peptides, vitamin C, retinol, things for hyperpigmentation, growth factors, these all take time. So regardless of your skincare budget, I just wanted to put this out there for you to consider. What different choices can mean long-term and to really start thinking about the main skincare products you buy as a longer term commitment. And if those products are the ones you really want to invest in. When you're looking at a new product, let's take a vitamin C for example. Most C serums will last about three months. It's a product that ideally you would use every single day. There are many different types of vitamin C, but the one that is a gold standard of vitamin C in the L-ascorbic acid form is a combination of vitamin C, E, ferulic, and it's from SkinCeuticals. It costs $166 for one fluid ounce. Vitamin C in a dropper like this will start to oxidize once it's open, so it needs to be used up pretty quickly, let's say in three months. So that vitamin C will cost close to $700 in one year. Or as vitamin C's from Maylove, Dr. Brenner, Timeless, all with a vitamin C E ferulic cost around 100 to 120 for the year. Vitamin C is something that you really should be using for so many reasons from your 20s on. So it's a core part of any solid anti-aging routine. So five years, the difference between these brands would be $3,500 for five years of SkinCeuticals versus around $600 for five years of the others. So I'm not knocking SkinCeuticals at all. It's a fabulous gold standard type of vitamin C, but you don't have to use that vitamin C to get fantastic vitamin C. And that goes for almost any other skincare product because we have more and more available to us. I'm not saying it's not worth it to splurge on some products, but just to consider and be more aware of those choices of what you're sort of signing up for and not look at it like just the one bottle you're getting because it is about being consistent. So it's not going to do you any good to spend your whole budget on one product if you can't keep going with it. Think of it in terms of how long does the product take to see results? And if I do love this, does it make sense in my budget to keep purchasing it? So really this idea centers around all those things that you need to be using daily, your core anti-aging skincare and including your moisturizers and SPFs, because these are things that we'll be replacing the most. And on the opposite end, there may be times where a product may seem more expensive, but maybe it covers more territory than a single ingredient and really is worth the price. The Peter Thomas Roth Peptide Serum contains 21 different peptides. It's just fantastic. It's about $100 for a bottle, but it really does give results. An example of a hyaluronic acid that is just raved about, I really do want this one. It's Glow Recipes Plum Plump Serum. It's $42 for an ounce versus something like Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid for $6, or Isentree's Hyaluronic Acid for about $20. Maybe the Plum Plump is a one-time splurge, but is that really sustainable for one aspect of my routine? Maybe, if it's amazing. My skincare routine between my day and nighttime routine is somewhat extensive. I do use a variety of serums, actives, tons of moisturizer, and always, always, always sunscreen. So I really am always excited to find the best formulations for the best prices. And then I also really do think it's worth it to spend more on certain ingredients. So I guess I'm more eclectic in my skincare style. I'm testing some skincare right now that is beyond my normal budget because I'm excited about the formulations and just want to see if it's really worth the investment. And it very well may be at this point in my life. But overall, I want to be more mindful and intentional of those decisions going forward. I definitely impulse buy on certain things and I've also been in the situation where I was disappointed in the results since I couldn't keep going on the product. 
So I just want to be more aware and wanted to share that kind of thought process. Consistency is key. I hope you found this video helpful or something to think about. If so, give it a like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.